It's amazing out here. This you'd think was a field, but this is our pond. It's so quiet. I think the snow kind of muffles it. I'm walking right now on the pond and it feels so solid. You can't even imagine how solid this is and I'm sliding around. It's pretty incredible. This is how we need to be. We need to be solid and firm. Unless of course someone needs to take a drink and then you need to break the ice. But we should be like this frozen pond, solid and firm in our resolve, solid and firm in our desire to help other people, solid and firm in our desire to serve God and our family. If we're solid and firm in those things, we'll be great. We, you already are great, but we will be incredibly more of an asset to the society than if you're flimsy and um, whimsical and you go by all these different uh, crazy things of today. So lesson for today, be solid and firm. These cows are durable. You gotta love them. These are the good Dexters. They seem to be fairly hardy in the winter time. And we'll see about the summertime. I haven't had them then. What do you think, Julia? They don't spook real easy. They are very concerned about her. But I do have her on a fairly tight leash. Whoa, that was exciting. Yeah, calm down, Julia. These are mine. Boy, it sure is cold out here. I'm glad they've got a big, thick coat. Hopefully they find that spot we cut in the pond. Let me show that to you. We're using an old hydrant to poke holes. This is a watering hole that I cut for them. I sure hope they find that this path right here, a little bit worn out of the weeds, this is where they come down to water. The other hole is all the way over there. You can barely even see it. But um, it seemed like it was more mud over there. But this right here, I got to some good water. So hopefully they'll drink that. If um, it's supposed to warm up tomorrow and the next day, then they can get some good water. But it is so cold out here. It, um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. God gave uh, animals big furry coats to wear. They get thicker in the wintertime. However, as you can tell, I have not grown fur on my hand and it's cold. So it's the end of a cold day. Here I am. Prickle. Yeah, prickle. So what I do is I top prickle off a little bit of food for the night. Here you go. Because there's not been a lot of um, mice and stuff roaming around. Is that pretty good prickle? Prickle is a fantastic cat. Really happy we picked him up. So it's been a cold day. And... Um, I figured I'd close this video out with my uh, nighttime routine. So essentially, I look around the lean-to with my trusty light. Floodlight comes on. I look around the lean-to, top of the carpet, top of different things, just to see if there are any chickens over there. I don't see any chickens, so... I'm gonna go over here to check out and make sure. I don't know if you can tell. Probably not in the video. Look at all those chicken prints in the snow. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So let me check. Looks like they're all in here. Juliet, you over there? Okay, I'll come and check on you. Let me check for any eggs. Oh, there's another egg. That's also a miracle. We've been getting eggs. These chickens we've had for a few months, they, they started laying way premature from what I expected. So that's incredible. Let me show you. There's a nesting box and a beautiful egg. So I'll get that. I'll lock up this door. I'll come, Juliet. I'll come. Also, you just want to kind of keep an eye 
and see if any oh let me shut this door if i don't shut this door juliet likes to bolt one of these days juliet i'll have it ready so that way you can go out and patrol and keep things safe here's a little treat for you yeah eat that eat that let me check your water looks like that little thing so i've got a little um bird bath warmer in there to keep her water from freezing so now let me go and check on the uh the pigs juliet loves checking on these pigs you see something in there juliet what is it she smells something in here hanks in there the other day luckily there aren't any in there but um let me check on these pigs. Hey Walter, hey Winifred. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, can you imagine sleeping like that especially? Look. Walter, nervous pooper. He must have been nervous out there because. But look, I mean it's beautiful. Oh look at the sunset out there. I mean that is so beautiful. I love living here. There's so many um there's so much variety in nature and that sunset out there is phenomenal all right now let's lock juliet up come on julia okay she checked on the um the pigs they're good let me just run for a little bit with her julia she loves running i mean look at her Woo! Alrighty, it's late, and one of the things that I tell the kids is I am I'm on a race with them, and the race is to see if I can get this nighttime routine done before they get their pajamas on. I hope, I hope that they win every night. Don't tell them, but I hope they win every night. Till next time, thanks for joining me.